So one of the things that they taught us was religion. Right. Because according to God, the children of Israel, we didn't have religion. We just Bring had law, statutes, and commandments to follow. Yes. Right. All the nations knew that. But when we got here, we lost these things because of what happened to us. Read that for me. Book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 13. Bring Read it out. out. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me, with their mouth. Because that's what our people say. You walk up to anybody, any of our people, and ask them, are they a spiritual people? Like, do you believe in the Bible? They say, of course. Like, they get offended if you ask them, do they believe in the Bible? They say, yeah, right. I believe in the Bible. Our people love to talk a good game. Right. Right. They talk the good game like they love the Most High God. But read on, read from the top again. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 13. Read up. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as these people draw near me, with their mouth, talk a good game, come on. And with their lips, do honor me. They honor, our people honor God with their lips. Oh, I love God, I love Jesus. I do whatever he say. But come on, read on. But I've removed their hearts far from me. Their what? Their hearts far from me. Now, according to the Bible, your heart, this is not your heart right here. This is just a muscle that pumps blood. According to the Bible, your heart is your mind. He said the children of Israel has removed their mind far from him. You can, say, you can tell, as, as a people, we don't do anything that the Bible says to do. Right. We don't follow it. We don't follow the Bible. We'd rather do what man says. Right. We listen to a man in a suit and a tie who preaches whatever he preaches, but it's not according to the Bible. Bring it out. Right? So read that again for me. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Come Bring on. It out. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, lip service, and with their lips do honor me, uh -huh. but have removed their hearts far from me. Why? Come on. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. Taught by who? The precept of men. Taught by the precepts of men. Right. So who set up the Christian churches today? Who set that up? Did the black man set up the churches today here in America? Who set them up? <laughs> the white man Bring set it them up. Bring it out. So they're going off of what they've been taught. Right. In slavery. If your slave master was a Baptist, guess what the slave was? He was a Baptist. Yeah. If your slave master was a Pentecost, guess what your slave was going to be? A Pentecost. So these things were taught to us. They were these these religions were taught to the children of Israel. So our precepts and our understanding of the Most High God came from the other nations. Right. They That's taught us right. these things. That's, That's right. not according to the Bible. You understand? We didn't know nothing about no white man Jesus. Right. That don't exist. You understand? Right. According to the Bible, do you know what color Jesus is? Bring it out. How they say he looks? The Bible says he's a white man. Supposed to be Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. I won't say it. You know that term then started to the 1800s. Bring it out. About Middle Eastern. There was no such word as the Middle Eastern. That was a term that they created just to no. keep keep the black man away from his true nationality. Bring it out! Right. Keep them as far as way. Don't let them find out who they are according to this Bible. Right. You understand? There was no such place called the Middle East. Right. Because Israel, you know where Israel at? You know where it was at? It's right there at the top of Africa. It's right at the top of Africa. Egypt. Right, right there by Egypt. You know what I'm saying? That was not considered the, um, yeah, let, let's get the back. That was not considered the Middle East. That was a part of Africa. But now they call it the Middle East. Just, just pretty much trying to stray you away from, from who you are, according to the Bible. But according to the Bible, listen, according to the Bible, Suez Canal. Yeah, the, the Suez, they built a Suez Canal because, they built the Suez Canal because, you remember, you ever heard the story of Moses when, uh, when uh, Moses redeemed the children of Israel out of Egypt and he walked to the wilderness and they, they crossed the Red Sea and all of that? When they did that, when they crossed the Red Sea, they walked. You understand? Right. Now, nowadays, if you try to get to Israel, you would have to take a boat to get over there. You would have to take a boat to get over there. But today, but back then, they walked. They built these things. And when they built the Suez Canal, they said that it was a part of the uh, Middle East. That's no. not a part of the Middle East. Right. It's a part of Northern Africa. That's right. Where the children of Israel are from. That's where we come from. Right. We come from Israel. That's right. We don't come from Africa. Because a lot of our people say, well, Africa is the continent. But a lot of our people say, I'm from Africa. But where in Africa are Bring you? Bring it out. It's over 50-something countries in Africa. Right. So where in Africa do you reside from? 
Israel is where you reside from. There it out. We're going to get that real quick. You got you got that for me? Galatians. Galatians 426. Galatians. I'm going to prove that according to the Bible, that the children of Israel came from Jerusalem. And they were black people. We're going to get that. Read. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Jerusalem, which is above, is free. You hear that, brother? Jerusalem, which is above, is free. That's where the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's where we come from. The That's right. Israel. It says Jerusalem are free because God made the children of Israel separate from everybody else. Right. He made them separate from all other nations. So, so they were separate and so were their land. Read. Right. Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Come on. Which is the mother of us all. Which is the who? The mother of us all. So that's where we come from. We come from the children of Israel. Now, I was talking about Jesus. Now, they say Jesus was a white man. If they paint that all over the city. Right. All over the world. Bring it out. That's what our people think, that Jesus was a white man. But according to the Bible, he's not a white man. Right. He looked like you. That's right. And we're going to prove that in the Bible. Bring right. Out. Revelation one chapter one. 1 verse 1. Bring, Bring it out. out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. John the Revelator is about to reveal something to you. Read. Which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servants things mu which must shortly, shortly come to pass. Things which must shortly come to pass. Read. And he sent and signified it by his angels unto oh. his servants. Okay, now go to verse 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hair were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Wool, give me that sign right there. Wool is the is the texture, all right? Three, as white as snow. White is the color, meaning fully gray. He has fully gray hair, right? This this man on here, his name is Caesar Borgia. You understand? This was a painting that was painted during the Renaissance era of the new Christ, how Christ, uh, uh, Esau, so-called white man, wanted Christ to look. Right. But according to the Bible, he doesn't look like this. This was painted by um, Le Leonardo da Vinci. It was it was painted by him, you understand? During the Renaissance. Renaissance means rebirth. Rebirth of the Caucasian race. Yes. Because before that, we ruled Europe. You right. Know we ruled Europe? We ruled Europe for a thousand years. Right. Like if you was to go to Russia or whatnot in Europe, and you will see our paintings, our murals all over the wall. Right. We ran York for a thousand years. That's why they called it the Dark Ages. Right. You understand? It was talking about us. That's what it was talking about. So read that again from the top for me one time. Verse 14. Uh-huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Wool in texture, white in color. Come on. As white as snow. As white as snow. It was gray, fully gray. And his eyes were as the flame of fire. His eyes was a flame of fire because Christ drunk wine. That's understand? right. He drunk wine. You know, our brothers and sisters, we like to, you know, have a good time. Sometimes we drink. When we drink, when we drink enough, our eyes will turn red. You know what I'm saying? But that's what Christ did. His eye, he drunk wine. He wasn't a drunk or nothing like that, but he drunk wine. If you drink wine moderately, it's good according to the law. Right. right? Bring it up. Read on. And his feet like unto fine breath. His feet like what? Fine breath. Now, if you was to take off your shoes right now, would your feet be the same color as the rest of your face? The rest of your body? Okay, would it be would it be off? Like you might say your your feet might be a little brown and your face might be a little darker. Yeah. Would it be still in the same category and the same color? Would it still be the same color? Right. Like say you brown. If you take off your shoes, would your would your feet be white? But it's still brown, right? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. It might be a little lighter, yeah. but it's still the same color as the rest of your body. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to say. Read that from the top again. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass? You know what color is brass? A, a brown. A derivative of brown. That's what brass is. Okay. But he just wasn't an ordinary brass. He wasn't light. Let's see how let's see how his color was, his complexion. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh-huh. As if they burned in a furnace. I say what? Burned in a furnace. Like you know how people always making jokes. Like say, damn, you see a brother or a sister like, damn, she burnt. Like she black. That's how dark he was. He nah, was very, right. very dark. Right. So you had a, a dark skinned man with woolly hair, white woolly hair. You understand? And his skin was brown. So where do you get this image from? You know? This image comes from our oppressors. When we was brought here, they taught you that Jesus was a white man. That's, right. That's not according to the Bible. 
Somebody been That's lying. Right. Right. Somebody been lying to you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to find out who's been lying to you. Okay? Now read on. And his, and his feet like on the fine breast, uh -huh. as if they burnt in a furnace. Come on. And his voice after the sound of many waters. Now you, you probably say, like, they paint, in the, they paint the pictures, uh, they paint the image. Like, when you see Christ, like, they put him on TV, you see him as a white man. And you see him speaking soft and, and mellow. According to the Bible, he didn't speak soft. He had voices of, a many, of many waters. Meaning when he spoke, he spoke loud. Right. He spoke with authority. You know what I'm saying? That's what Christ speaks like that. Nowadays, they teach our brothers and sisters, well, mainly the brothers, to speak soft. Because if you speak loud and with aggression, you're a threat. You know what I'm saying? And they don't like that. You know right. what I'm saying? We're gonna, so if Christ was a black man, what do you think his people look like? What do you think his people look like? He's black, right? We're going to prove that too. Jeremiah 14.2. His people that he came for, because you know he only died for the children of Israel, right? He didn't die for the whole world. Bring it out! You know that? You look a little confused. So you think he died for everybody? Yeah. Okay. We're going to get that too. Bring it out! But we're going to show you that Christ was a black man and his people were black. We're going to show you that too. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Bring it out! Do the morning! And the gates are up language. Judah morning, meaning the Judah, the, the Jews, which are Jew, Judah. The word Jew, J-E-W, is short for Judah. So when you say Jew, you're talking about Judah. Right. So read it again from the top. Yeah. Verse 2. Judah morning. Judah morning. And the gates are up language. The gates language, meaning the elders used to sit at the gate. And they used to teach and they used to preach to, to the people. It says, read. They are black. Read from the top again. Judah morning. Uh huh. And the gates thereof language. Meaning the leadership, the roles of, of the leadership is gone. It's no more. It don't exist. So the children are moaning. Read, mourning, read. They are black unto the ground. The Jews are what? They are black unto the ground. The Jews are what? They are black unto the ground. That's the Jews right. are black unto the ground. Now when it says black unto the ground, meaning shades of brown. That's, That's right. right. The first man was made from the dust of the ground. That's like right. if you turn around right now, you yeah. dig your hand in that soil, it's brown. That's right. The first man was black. He was a black man. According right. To the Bible. We teaching our uh, we teaching this brother here his nationality. Do you know your nationality according to the Bible? You know where you come from? Uh, I'm really trying to do that. Tribe of Judah, all praise it. That's so right. You know you an Israelite, huh? All praise it. That's what's up. A lot of our people don't know that. So that's why we out here to show our people who we are according to the Bible. Right. Now you will see the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.